Hi folks! In this video I'm going to assemble these treat mugs. Keep watching! So before we start assembling one of these mugs, I just wanted to show you a couple of things about the finished mug. I attached this handle with adhesive, but just in case my contents were a little heavy, I've also added grommet, um, I'm sorry, I've also added brads. That's completely optional. If you think yours is strong enough, no problem at all. I also added a circle to the bottom and to the top to hide the construction. So that makes it look neater, more finished. So let's go ahead and assemble one. I made um, this Thanksgiving version and I've also done a little Halloween version and a Christmas version. So we'll start with these. This is an extra, we don't need that. And here we go. The first thing you're going to do is fold in the top half of this large piece. This is an extra fold that gives you more strength to the body of your mug. So we'll just fold that in. You're going to add adhesive, but you want to start just about a quarter to a half inch away from this straight edge, not the straight, not the side where this tab is, but on this straight edge. Just start about, I'd say, half an inch away, and run some adhesive along this edge, and that will just serve to hold your piece in place. And just rub that adhesive off added a little bit too much and now we want to fold our score lines this is the tab that we'll use to assemble it it's really actually a, a very easy project to assemble and we have score lines along the bottom that we need to fold. Now we're all folded. I'm going to add adhesive to this tab on the side and just along the bottom of these fold-ins. Okay, I think that I will decorate this one before I assemble it. It's easier to do it before. You can use any colors and any type of paper you like, of course. And make these for any occasion. They'd even be cute if they were super colorful for children's birthday parties. Or maybe something classic and antique looking for a tea or an afternoon lunch with your friends. There's all kinds of ways you can use these. They're super versatile. And all kinds of things you can put in them. Um, today I'm just using candy to fill them because I had candy on hand. 
but if you were doing these for Christmas treats, you could fill it with um, a hot chocolate pouch and maybe some mini marshmallows and a candy cane or a cinnamon stick. That would be really fun too. There we go. Okay, so you're going to fold this around and remember that we left this little end open. You're going to slide this tab inside and line it up. And there you have your circle. And then we're just going to attach these all down. They might not stay right away because we need to put a little pressure on them. So we'll do our circle. Add adhesive to one of the circles. And we'll center it up. And now you can just turn it over and Put some pressure on it to get it to stick and it looks nice and neat because you don't see all the construction. We can add a circle to the inside of it to hide the construction there too. It's a little harder to center but you can do it. And we'll make our handle. And the handle you're going to shape kind of like a question mark. If you can see that. Kind of like a question mark. So you're going to put adhesive on the outside at the top. And on the inside at the bottom. And we're going to attach it this way. There. And if I was going to add brads to it, I would punch them through now and add brads. And I've done a print and cut for this little tag that will go on the front. And I'll use some puff tapes to attach it. Wow, that's sticky. And there we go. Add some candy. And there's a Halloween version. So these are super easy to make. Um, I like the idea that they assemble quickly. So if you're making a large quantity for your class or a party, you can put them together really fast. I hope you enjoyed them. If you look in the comments under this video, you'll see a link to my Facebook group. That's the only place I share my files. I often get requests um, for me to email the links for my files, but I don't do that. You can find them in my Facebook group. And um, I'm going to continue and make this red one if you'd like to continue watching and see it a second time.